So I want to share with you guys a tip that I wish someone had taught me years and years ago, which is how to enable multiple filters in a pivot table. And this is something that's really easy to do once you know where to look because it's kind of buried in the pivot table options. So let me show you what I mean here. Let's go ahead and clear our filter to give us a starting point. And let's say we want to drill down to only titles with a simple label filter begins with S. So we're only looking at S titles now. And now let's say, okay, I've got my S titles. Among titles that begin with S, let's filter down again to show only the S titles with a gross revenue over $100 million. So I could go in, when I open up that sorting and filtering menu, I see a checkbox next to the label filters line, which indicates that there is a label filter applied. If I drop into my value filters, choose greater than, we can say, all right, gross revenue is greater than 100 million. Press OK. See what happened here? It basically overwrote the label filter and removed it. So now I'm showing all titles, no matter what letter they start with, where the value of gross revenue is greater than 100 million. And if I drill down into my options again, you'll see that the check mark essentially just moved from label filters over to value filters. And this new filter that I applied now takes priority. In order to prevent that from happening, in order to allow my label filter to remain in place as I add this value filter on top of it, I can go into pivot table tools, options, totals and filters, and simply check this box that says allow multiple filters per field. And when I do this, now I can drill back into my options. We'll just kind of do this in the reverse order. I've still got my value filter in place for revenue greater than 100 million. So now let's add the label filter that we had originally, which is begins with S. And when we do this, it generates the exact list that we're looking for. We have titles that begin with S, and among those titles that begin with S, we're looking at only those which generated a revenue of over 100 million. And when we look at that menu again, now we see two checkboxes one which indicates that there's a label filter applied and a second which indicates that there's a value filter applied. So an unbelievably helpful tool once you know where to look for it. And let's go ahead and just clear these off. Next up we're going to talk about grouping data.